morning, insert name, DFTBA. Today is Friday. And if that cramped attic didn't give you a clue of what we're talking about today, then maybe this clip will. <laughs> I trust you're comfortable. Who are you? Oh yeah, we really just went there. Back to 1987 and the animated Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Although the show came out four years before I was born, I happily watched it via VCR, which looks like so. As you can tell, I'm not in my normal studio today. I thought it would be fun if we did something a little different. I'm gonna cut the talking short here and we're gonna get straight into what we're doing today. And that is showing you how to set a rat trap. And this is our rat. This is the rat trap that we're going to be using. It's a Victor rat trap. Originally, we were going to use this little mouse to set up on this trap, but I decided that I wanted something a little more realistic to show you guys. So what I did was create this little rat who will be our demonstrator. It's filled with blood and a little pouch in the back. So it should be very scientific. First, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to remove this metal bracket right here. It's what holds this bar in place. To do that, simply just pull on it and it comes off. Now you have your bar loose. This is what's called the trigger. This is where the bait's gonna be placed on. You wanna make sure that you place your bait before you set your trap. Make sure you have peanut butter. Take a little peanut butter. Be generous. You wanna make sure that they really have a food source to get at. Now that you have your peanut butter on your trigger, you're ready to set your trap. Now how a rat trap works is it uses this spring, which is already preloaded to put tension onto this killing bar. This killing bar pulls back with full force. And once this is pulled back to full force, you're gonna to wanna to take your metal rod here and stick it underneath your trigger. Once the trigger is set, this bar pops, this is released, and the rat is no more. So now let's set this trap. When setting, be as close as possible to the area you are placing the trap. That way, you have less distance to carry a live trap, thus reducing risk of premature release. Set the trap by pulling the spring-loaded kill bar back and then locking it in by placing the metal bar over it and tucking the end beneath the small yellow trigger of the trap. I always like to hold the very end and the bottom, like so. If the trap does set off into my hands, I'm able to quickly let my fingers go, possibly throw it or just let the bar snap. Carefully move your hands out of harm's way and set the trap down slowly without bumping it. And there you go. It's now ready to mess up a rat's day. Stop bugging pest control. Now let's answer the question of the day. Do rats eat mice? Yes. Known as muricide, this behavior takes place the same way every single time, which is why it's called a stereotyped behavior. The behavior is known before the action takes place. They already know what's going to happen. Rats will hunt, kill, and eat mice. Guaranteed. However, buying rats to kill your house mouse is not the solution. Insert name, I'll see you on Wednesday. Question of the day.